These are koans from multiple units. You might think that Medal of Honor recipient Gary Luttrell would get used to being called a hero. I'm not a hero, I'm a warrior. I love the title warrior. I don't like the title hero. In 1970 in Vietnam, Luttrell and the South Vietnamese Rangers he was advising crippled a much larger enemy force, holding a key hill for four days and nights. Hundreds died on both sides. It was a no-win situation. They, they, no one won. It was just mass annihilation. He would earn the Congressional Medal of Honor, presented by President Nixon in 1973. Well, Lord, what I hope there will be, never be another war to produce another Medal of Honor recipient. That's my hopes and prayers. Over the weekend, Luttrell and other Medal of Honor recipients traveled to New York and Washington for National Medal of Honor Day, but their numbers have dwindled. When I joined the uh, society, I, I believe we had 360 living recipients, and we're down now to 71, and we're getting, we're getting old. <laughs> While U.S. troops have fought long and hard, fewer medals of honor have been awarded. Just two in Iraq. Those recipients didn't survive. There are 11 surviving recipients from Afghanistan. Some lesser medals may be reviewed now and could be upgraded to medals of honor. If not, we're going to have 11 young kids from Afghanistan, um, and that number, is, that number is just a little bit too small. <laughs> hoping against new wars, but recognizing the warriors and their sacrifice. In October of 2019, the Medal of Honor Society will hold its annual convention here in Tampa and in Clearwater Beach. So dozens of them will be here, whether you call them heroes or warriors. Lloyd Towers, Fox 13 News.